Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I will talk about a special module called View of Material or Production Module. Let's go to SQL. This is the Production Module or Bill of Material. But before we go in, we need to do some setup first. Please remember Bill of Material or Production Module is an additional module, so you need to purchase separately. So let's go to stock and create a new stock called finish goods. Okay. Okay. And finish goods A is selling at 1000. Then your material is over here. So before we do this, let's create raw material A raw material A is 10 and you can do this right click an item copy the item new right click paste the item so this is P and do one more is raw material C. Okay, now we have finished with A, raw material A, B, C. So let's go back to finish. So finish with A. Now, what you need to do is let's say to do finish good A, you need to have raw material A, raw material B, and raw material C. So at finish good A, you need to make sure at this BOM tab, you need to change to BOM instead of stop. So here is where you set up the raw material. So raw material A, I need to use 10 plus raw material B, I need to use 3 and I need to use one more raw material C. This one I need to use one. Meaning that to create one unit of finished good A, I need to use up 10 unit of raw material A, three unit of raw material B, and one unit of raw material C, and only can create one finished good. Okay. SQL do support multi-level of build material. So the idea is the same way. Okay, so I just do one level for you to understand how this BOM works. So now I have this example. Now one customer come and want to buy finished good A. He, he want to buy 100. So he asks you whether you got stock or not. The fastest way to check the stock balance, of course, is go to stock, maintain stock item, then you check. Check finish goods A is zero. That means you do not have finished good for 100 units. So then you need to check can I produce my finished good? So you go to production on top, go to pre and planner, and you select finished good A. Why you only can select this tree is because you already set under maintenance stock item. This is a bill of material finish good. You remember the, the BOM tab? You need to select this BOM. So you select the finish good A. How many you want? 100. So apply. Then you are able to see the raw material required because it is 10 multiplied by 100. So on 10 is 0. So that means you have all the shortage. So this is what we call production plan. We plan whether we have the enough raw material to produce the finished good or not. Maybe in actual, maybe some of them is enough stock to produce, but some of them is not, then you need to do purchase. So let's do a purchase for all the raw material. Just go to purchase. We directly do the purchase invoice. 
let's use that this supplier. So we select raw material A, we select raw material B, and we select raw material C as well. So all this we select one thousand. 1000 1000 and by doing this you are assuming you already the stock already come so let's go to production pre-production planner or BOM planner select the finished good and 100 apply now you will have enough goods already because only here there's no shortage now let's do the productions go to production go to stock item assembly new assembly code finish select the finish code A then produce 100 and you can see that to produce one is 10, 3, 1, right? You produce 100, it will be multiplied by 100. That means it becomes 1,300 and 100. If you click save, what happens is finished good quantity will increase by 100, raw material F decreased by 1,000, B decreased by 300, and C decreased by 100. And let's say during the production, there is some wastage, you can plus let's say raw sorry raw material c that is a waste stage of five and you can do this and save so let's check on the stop balance the finish curve. now you have 100 and raw material no more for A all used up B minus the 300 equal to 700 C minus the 100 and minus the 5 of prestige and this is the balance so this is the idea of how you do BOM or item assembly for productions there is the item disassembly that means you convert back I say we convert back this finished good. Let's say we convert two and save. That means we reduce the finished good by two and increase the raw material by 26 and 2. We disassemble the finished good to become back the raw material. And under productions, we have wastage reports. So this is the wastage report. There's any wastage. So basically this is the idea of how you use view of material module in SQL accounting system. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.